Happy Sunday, everyone. This is Sherry Jones of Sherry Speaks Life. Happy Mother's Day to all the wonderful mothers out there. If this is your first time tuning in to my Sunday inspirations, thank you so, so much for watching. I post these videos every Sunday via my Sherry Speaks Life page. And I also go live on Wednesdays at 9 p.m. My message today is happy Mother's Day. I want to wish a happy Mother's Day to everyone out there that is a mother or a mother figure to someone in their life. Also, send in special prayers and thoughts for those that do not have a mother, for those mothers that have lost a child, and for those women that desire to be a mother but it has not manifested in their life. I know that today is a tough day for you, and so I send warm thoughts and prayers to you. Someone asked me to address an issue that is difficult for most mothers, and that is when you have a child that we would consider wayward. That child is not doing the things that you hoped and dreamed that they would do. They are not living a life that is pleasing to God or pleasing to you. They're hanging with the wrong crowd, they're making bad decisions, and they're being destructive. And the first thing that we as mothers do is blame ourselves. But it is not your fault. You can only do as much as you can do. You can only train a child up in the way that they should go. But when they get older, they make their own decisions. And sometimes those decisions are not the best. So what do you do when your child is lost? Of course you grieve, of course you pray, you fast, but another thing that you can do, I discovered from the parable of the prodigal son. The parable of the prodigal son, if you're not familiar with it, is there was a young man who asked his father for his inheritance. And so he went and he took it and he squandered it away and he ended up working in, with someone in a pig pen. And he thought to himself, my father's servants live better than this. I'm going home. And when he went home, his father could see him from afar. And he greeted him with love. And they had a big celebration. And one thing I noticed about the story is that the Bible does not talk about the father and his grief in that moment. It doesn't talk about what he experienced while he was waiting for his child to come home, but it focused on the child coming home and the celebration. And the father was prepared. When he, fought, when he saw his son coming from afar, he told his summer servants to bring the best robe, to bring a ring, and to kill the fatty calf. All of those things were already there. He didn't have to go and search for a robe. He told them to bring the best of all that he already had. He didn't have to go to the store and get a ring. And the fatty calf was already there prepared. So the father was preparing for his son's return before he even came back. So when he did see his son coming home, he was ready to celebrate. And that's what we have to do, our parents. When your child is wayward, when your child is not living up to their potential and you're waiting for them to come home, what you have to do is prepare. Prepare the best robe. Prepare a beautiful ring. Prepare the fatty calf. All the things that you have for them, all the things that you want for them, prepare to celebrate when they come home. All the grief, all the stress, give it to the Lord and he will see you through. But prepare in the meantime for that beautiful moment when your child comes back home. I hope you all enjoyed this Sunday inspiration message. And this is my 98th video. This is the countdown to 100. I'm so excited. And so Wednesday, when I do my Wednesday live session at 9 p.m. this week, that will be my 99th video. And then my 100th video will be next Sunday on May 21st. I hope you all take the journey with me. If you've been with me from the very beginning, thank you so much thank you so much for watching and if you're a new viewer thank you so much for joining i'm so excited and i hope that the things that i'm saying and the things that i'm sharing with you is truly a blessing to you and gives you something to hold on to 
and inspiration to help you through life. I love you all so much with the love of Christ, and I will see you on Wednesday at 9 p.m. Please like my Sherry Speaks Life page and get notifications whenever I post. You all be blessed. Bye-bye.